how was the Giro for you to, this year? Yeah, it's been a tough one. I think everyone said it's um, it's been dominated by like you know two teams in the GC for sure. Um, but uh, I think we've had our success too, and it's been enjoyable. We have a really fun group of guys, and we've uh, supported each other well along the way, and um, had some fun while we're at it too. The first hour at 50.3 of average yesterday. How was it? Yeah, every day. It seems like <laughs> every, day. every day almost we do like 50k in the first hour. Every, every rider says the same thing that everybody's going so fast, but you are going so fast because. I mean, everybody's going fast in the, in the, in the group. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, a, it's a testament to the, the level of the field here. It's a really high level. And uh, there's, um, there's a lot of teams and a lot of guys that haven't had the chance to show themselves or win a stage or go on a breakaway. So there's a little bit of desperation and guys uh, really throwing everything out at these last few stages. Let, let, let's say that uh, your balance is a good balance, a positive balance for your Giro. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's yeah, it's been balanced. Um, yeah, some some great moments, some good memories, some difficult moments, um, and hopefully we'll finish it off here the last two days. Last day of efforts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow's not not a free day. Um, last year in the Giro, the final day, everyone was kind of expecting a parade into uh, into the finish, but um, you know, there's a lot of different little classifications still being fought out, and uh, it was still some hard racing. So uh, we're not over till uh, Sunday in Milan. So thank you, Brent. Thank you. You. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.